So instead of putting words on paper or words on my blog, <laughs> um, I decided this morning to share one of my favorite um, summer vegetable dishes. This is um, completely vegan. It um, is a dish that I learned from my Syrian friend Geza. It's called fazulia. It's made in many countries, um, many Arabic countries, Syria, Lebanon, um, also uh, in Turkey, and in fact the wonderful um, Robin Eckhart who wrote Istanbul and Beyond was posting about this recipe last week and it reminded me I needed to make it. And I like to make this and then let it sit. I love eating this at room temperature. Um, it, um, a Siri, or Geza's youngest son, Mohammed, and I um, often like to eat this as a snack and we'll take off, <laughs> my cat, <laughs> and we'll take off <laughs> we'll take off bits of um, pita bread and scoop it up um, and scoop it up with bits of pita bread. <laughs> I'm not going to move the cat because it's just too cute. So I'm using um, uh, French beans, haricot vert, and I've just cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And... Um, what I really, really like, I'm using French beans because uh, Ontario beans aren't in season and what I really like making this dish with are the flat green beans. It's, um, those are my absolute favorite. So a whole lot of beans because I want to have some of this in the fridge for the week. And um, tomatoes. And what I've done is I've cut the tomatoes in half and I've used a box grater and grated down to the skin. And then I put the skin in a bowl and I've salted it and massaged it um, because there's this wonderful, very flavorful liquid that comes out of the skin. And um, that's a trick that I learned from Geza and I just, I just love it. Um, then there's green onion, sliced green onion, and lots of sliced garlic. And uh, this is ground coriander seed, and then lots of oil. And you, you cannot skimp on the oil in this dish. It, if there needs, fat needs to be a presence um, in the enjoyment of it. And those, that's it in terms of ingredients. Um, I'm gonna have this with roast chicken tonight. And as I said, it's really just having it at room temperature is just um, fabulous. Okay, so you can see, I hope you can get a sense that I have a good amount of olive oil in my pan. And I'm gonna add my green onion. Just give it a, a minute to get fragrant. And then I'm going to add my sliced garlic. Mm. Just let it get really fragrant for a few minutes. I've got my heat now on sort of medium high. This green onion 
garlic combination is really good. And now I'm going to add my green beans. And as I do this, I'm going to give them the first seasoning. Lots of salt. <clears throat> and pepper. French green beans and garlic, <laughs> one of my favorite things to eat, and um, I make it quite often because it's very quick, and I just blanch my green, my herco there, and quickly saute them with some, with too much garlic. I'm just going to let that warm through. For a minute. I think while I'm waiting I'll show you a little bit of what I've done here with the you can see how much liquid has come out of these skins and um, again I just tell you I salted them a bit and then I um, just massage them with my hands and you get this just really fabulous liquid. Of course, I don't want the skins in there. Um, uh, and I don't, I don't really want skins in the tomatoes. In the fazulia either. So I'm just right now letting my beans just warm through from the heat. And actually I can start I can start to smell the green beans cooking. tomatoes into the pan. That's about three tomatoes, three good sized tomatoes. And um, I don't even know how much. I got two packages of the French green beans, three tomatoes. Um, and then I'm going to just pour in this really beautiful liquid from the tomato skins. some coriander. dreaming about dinner. <laughs> and I'm going to let these, I'm going to let this simmer just for a few minutes. I want some of that liquid to um, reduce. I want it to intensify in terms of flavor. These beans won't stay, you know, the vibrant green that we associate with 
French vegetable cookery, but um, they will, there's so much flavor in them, and they should be quite tender to eat. And um, yeah, they should be quite tender to eat. If you can find um, a Middle Eastern bakery that makes really good pita, um, I encourage you to try eating this with your hands. Just take a little bit of the um, pita and scoop up a, a bit of beans and oh, it's just the best. In Toronto, I think the best pita, and that again is something that comes from my friend Geza, comes from um, the great Scarborough grocery store um, called Adonis. And if you go into Adonis, right in the middle of the store, you can see the pita being produced. Um, it's, I tell you, it's very interesting. Uh, my f Syrian friends have made me think a lot about, you know, pitas and flatbread and just how um, so much of what is on the market is just really mundane in terms of flavor. I'll come back to this when it's done. Okay, so this has been cooking, I think, for about 20 minutes, and you'll notice most of the liquid has, has reduced. I sort of was simmering it, medium low heat, for about 20 minutes. And you know, you'll notice that a lot of the liquid has reduced, and um, it's good and fatty, um, and they're perfect. And I'm not going to, I've seasoned them. I think they're pretty close to being perfectly seasoned. And now I am just going to let them sit and, um, and cool to room temperature. And, um, and probably I'll have to have <laughs> an afternoon snack before dinner. At any rate, that is how easy fazulia is. And it is one of the nicest summer dishes. I mean, if you have this in your fridge, you know, in a pinch with a rotisserie chicken, you've got dinner um, just on its own with labna, hummus, um, it's dinner again, big salad, dinner again, grilled fish, dinner. <laughs> I could go on because uh, I love it a lot. At any rate, I hope your Sunday is good.